So if you watch this video carefully and rewatch it a few times, by the end of it, you will have created and deployed your first AI writer, similar to my helpful content writer here. And the best part is that it's not going to take a long time. Once you get the gist of it, maybe 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, and it's going to be next to nothing, almost free. So make sure to like this video, make sure to grab your pen and your paper or whatever you're drafting technology of choices <laughs> and let's get started so first things first let's look at our tool stack so to speak what you need to do the only things that you would need are the open router api key the main reason is that it doesn't have any problems with countries and eligibilities it allows you to get access to the multitude of LLMs, essentially to all the popular models. And it's a credit based, no subscription. So you can top it up and use it as you see fit. Two, you will need a template. So you have a uh, better chance of creating this quickly and with the least amount of errors. You need to have your template um, along with the prompts. And in the description of this video, I will share the template and the prompts with you. So don't worry. Then you need a bolt.new account. I'm using a paid account, but I started with a free one. And this might actually be all that you need, since everything is pre-planned for you. And you need a spare domain. So it's roughly going to cost you five to ten bucks. But maybe, just maybe, you have a few domains lying around that you want to test this uh, process on. So let's get started with step number one, Open Router API key. It's extremely simple. You go to openrouter.ai. You go to credits, add credits. And the minimum that you can top up is five dollars. And five dollars is going to last you a long time. Let's just look at my usage activity. And these are some of the costs that incur when writing an article. So this is 0 0.0012. And I've been using Gemini Pro 1.5 a lot. It's a very uh, good model for copywriting. Then you go to keys. You click on create your own key. You name it. And this is a key that you're going to be using inside of my template and to get your AI writer up and running. So not sophisticated at all. So if you start now, you can have your own API key under five minutes. Then you need a bolt.new subscription. Just register with your email. And that's all you have to do. And you will have some free credits to get you started. So step number three is to have your own vision. So in order for bolt.new to work properly, I would advise you to start with the draft. So we'll be working with this very simple visual representation of what your AI writer is going to look like. And this is basically how I want it to look. There's going to be six windows slash buttons slash tabs. The first one is when you enter your API key. The second one is your model selector where you have access to all the LLMs through the Open Router API. Then you enter the keywords that you want to write your article on. Then you have uh, this section here for background information. So whatever you want uh, your article writer to use, be it statistics, be it another reference article, or some suggestions regarding CTAs, for example, or things to include about your company, you can include here. Then you have your generate outline window and finally a write article button. And the way it works is that you have your visual representation and you have your prompts. So I won't be reading this out loud, but basically each section corresponds with what you want to do with it and a prompt. So you would enter a prompt here, a prompt here, a prompt here. And this tells both new to take this as a, as a visual reference and then basically apply the following logic. As you can see, this is only a six step prompt. Uh, you can make this a writer as sophisticated as mine, for example, but that's not going to take you 20 to 30 minutes. It's going to take you a few days, maybe a week. But once you can do this, you can, of course, make it more sophisticated, more robust, more detailed, tailored to your specific needs, niches and whatever. So again, to recap, make sure you have the open router API key. Make sure you sign up for boat.new. There's not going to be any affiliate links, <laughs> so don't worry. You need a spare domain to deploy your tool. And then you need a template of sorts. I uh, will be providing you with a free one, but you are welcome to come up with your own. Okay, so let's go to both new. And this uh, acts as a chat GPT slash Claude uh, slash any of the chat interface that you are familiar with. Let's uh, move left to open up the sidebar, start a new chat. And literally all we have to do is paste in the visual reference. And I will have two variants. The one that I had started with uh, in the beginning and the one that I got after an iterative process. 
uh, which is an actual interface I show it to you test one and then it will be pasted in the template prompt now it's writing the code you just have to wait until it does everything uh, take note of the components folder where some of your prompts are, are likely to be stored so it's literally telling you what it's doing sometimes it will get stuck at some of the stages and you have to wait till this is resolved now when this happens and i'm glad it has you just create a screenshot like this move it left and go troubleshoot and sometimes it's going to tell you oh i forgot to install the dependencies or stuff like that uh, it's telling that it needs to install a plugin that's being used in the tailwind configuration and if you get errors don't be afraid it's a very iterative process it's a slow process one day maybe in six months time maybe in a year it's uh, literally going to be a one-click coding situation but now it's more of iteration after iteration okay the i like the design now what you have to do is uh, check if everything is working so let's first check the model selector and when you're just starting and you don't want to burn through your open router credits just choose a very inexpensive model like gemini pro 1.5 for the old school subscribers let's have a laugh together and docs it long end. now this should be prompted in a way that you don't have to have background information so even if you just have the keyword it's gonna write the article uh, but if you do have background information, it's going to reference that. It could be anything. It could be a reference article. It could be your company information. It could be data, whatever you want, a YouTube transcript. So let's just see if it generates anything. And you just have to wait while it's grayed out. Okay, so we'll wait uh, for another minute or so. And if this doesn't resolve, you just have to troubleshoot it once again. So let me just say the outline is not getting generated. So let me fix the outline generation issue. The problem is likely with how we handle the model ID in the API request. Okay, the outline generation should now work perfectly. Okay, let's try again. This again, a lot of trial and error. Let's choose the same keyword. Okay, the outline is generated, beautiful. Now let's test the article writing capability. Okay, now the article is not getting generated as well. Let's wait for a few seconds. No, I don't think that's gonna happen. Let me fix the article generation issue. Okay, again, when you get something like this, just go fix problems. Okay, let's try this one more time. And if uh, the issue is not resolved, I'll show you a live hack. Okay, so now what I usually do is I screenshot and I go same error, pause and think step by step why you're encountering the same problem over and over again. So I've clicked on fix the problem once again, as you can tell. Uh, sometimes you get away with no errors at all, but sometimes you just get stuck. When you get stuck, there is a few, very few options. One of the best ones is just leave everything as is and return in a few hours or the next day. Okay. Just repeat the process. We're getting an error. We're asking Bolt new to troubleshoot. Okay. 
As you can see, it has slightly changed the UI. Now the API key is not hidden and uh, it's up to you to change it. Since I was making my tool open, okay, to all, I decided to go another route and have in a window for inserting API. And we've got a very difficult section. So I've tested this uh, quite a few times and it worked like a charm. Now it's struggling and sometimes this will happen. But again, don't worry. We just have to iterate and reiterate. Okay. So let's go back to our Gemini 1.5 Pro once again. Can docs it along in. Generate outline again. It's changed the UI slightly, and the way to bypass that is screenshots of the UI that you like, the version of the UI that you like, and attach it every time you're prompting. And you would go something like change this, but don't change the UI, look at the visual reference. But for our purposes, this is okay. I wasn't especially fond of the previous UI. Okay, this is our outline. Let's hit generate. And as you can see, our article is generated with markdown formatting. So let's copy this. Let's go to markdown to HTML. And yeah, so this is a proper, proper article. Now, so if you didn't like what you saw for some reason, you can go undo and this will roll back to the previous state which I don't really advocate. What I advocate is to say this is a fully working version, which it is, of your AI writer and you like it. What you want to do is open in Stack Blitz. You would name it like that simple writer version 1 and I would have a glossary of sorts in your notebook what version 1 entails regarding the features. Then you go save and download project. Then if anything goes south, because once you go back and say you want to uh, double check anything and what I usually double check is display all of the prompts being used by all of the components. I like to double check that because sometimes the AI will rewrite my prompts and my prompts are very specific. So this is the outline prompt, it's the article generation prompt. These are the only two prompts that interact with the open router API. All the other components are UI components that don't contain any prompts. Okay, interesting. So the background information uh, does not generate anything that was intentional, but as you can see, the uh, actual article will include the background information. Okay. But let's say we ask for something else and so this totally messed up the uh, UI or whatever. It's going to rewrite everything here as well. So we, what you want to do again, once uh, this is something that is half working or at least something to your liking, download the project. And then if everything goes south, you go to dashboard, you create new project, choose node.js, you name it later however you want it to, write, not to name. But then what you do, is you go back to your file, like so, you open it up, you open the folder, and then you move all the files here. After that, you want to go to package.json and run this command here, npm install and pm run build. And then you can go npm install npm run dev, and we'll need to wait for it to populate the preview. Okay. Now you can make sure that everything is working correctly here. You need to click save. Let's go to test one. And then when you're done, you just open in bold new. And this is going to return you to this chat. Now, if everything is to your liking and you're ready to publish the tool, you go deploy. Now you get two links. The first link is basically for you to check if everything is working correctly. And this is a temporary web, web address with Netlify. And you have to have your, your Netlify account. And the second one is used for deployment. Let's click this one. Let's click that. Add projects. So this is our project. Let's check it out. We can go to the website to see if everything is working correctly. But we need to put it on a website. So let's do that. Let's go to domains. Add or register domain. Uh, the domain in question for me would be the one that I have never used called linkmedia.pro and we need to go to DNS settings straight away. So let me copy this, just go verify, add domain, then continue. Then I have to add these DNS addresses to my name service. Let's go to GoDaddy, 
go to the mains, name servers, change name servers. I'll use my own. Let's copy the first one. One, two, three, four, and we'll just amount the numbers slightly. Two, three, four, to be the same exact ones as in this example. Let's hit save. Okay, I need to verify the changes. Changes verified, and this is all from the GoDaddy's or your registrar side of things. Now let's click done. And now all you have to do is go to sites, select our website, set up custom domain, then your domain here, verify. Good news, Link Media Pro is already on Netify DNS at domain. And you just need to wait till this turns green. Everything seems to be okay. Now if we click on this link here. Our two should be visible, so let's test it out one last time. Select model, Google Gemini Pro 1.5. Our keyword is CanDocs eat login. No background information, maybe just add a lot of emojis. <laughs> this looks like custom instructions. Generate outline. Okay, as you can see, <laughs> the outline uh, generator has complied with the background information. Now for the final touch. This is our last article. Again, lots of emojis. And yeah, this is how you create your own AI writing tool. To recount the steps, you get your open router API key, then you register for free with bolt.new. You use your existing domain or you buy a new one. And then you use my template as well as the processes described in this video to get your first AI writing tool up and running. All the templates are gonna be in the description down below. I love you guys, I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.